Hey, what's going on? Dave Patterson here, Rutgers University Clinic. Hanging out, man. Pioneer Sports Center. Interesting week, to say the least. <laughs> Let's get you caught up to date. Wait, I'm not, I'm, I, I, I you also can't have, the, the, the nickel or whoever's guarding me cannot play inside shade. Cause it's immediate, yeah, that, I can put a smoke yeah, screen yeah. and then. So never mind all that. So we're, we're on the now week two. I mean, we, we interviewed after the big win week one. Week two didn't go according to plan. What happened out there? Um, they came out aggressive. Um, we made the adjustment kind of late. Uh, it was a great game by defense. They tried to hang us in there. Um, we just got to learn for next week, to be honest. Um, we got to do a better job with pick up the blitz and certain gaps. Um, and moving forward, that's it. Mm -hmm. And what's the pulse of the team after the loss last week? Oh, this bigger vibes in the win. Win, lose, a draw, we're a team. We're a family. We, we stand strong behind that. So after the loss, he was, was at the quarterback career. You know I mean, watching the fight. Um, and that, that shows a testament to the type of organization it is. Nobody hung their heads. We understood what was wrong. Make the adjustment move forward. Get to feel more one and be better than yesterday. That's it. That was almost a team. Non-existent. I respect it. The next was non-existent. Tajay Montgomery, what went, what, what, what went wrong week two, man? Not running zone on two-point conversions. Uh, well, okay, I just told it. you the reason um, why. I'm not, and we, we ran, we had yeah. two options, we had two chances to try. Uh, so, so, what's the pulse of the team? So, what's the pulse of the team? And uh, we gave up a holding call. Touchdown on the holding call. You said we that's gave up? offensive coordinator don't want to talk We also about. gave up a bomb, right? That's fine, but we gave up a touchdown on a holding call, right? That's a problem. It's we not gave up a holding call. Stand back a little bit so I get the Six points on a holding call, we are not talking about this. We're talking about the bomb you gave up. Six points on a holding call. Yes, it is. Six points on the holding call, and you refuse to acknowledge this. Who, who helped? So, look, so looking forward to the next. Yeah, we gave that up. I mean, we're not talking about Tim's not here. We're talking about you. We're talking to you. Six points. Me and you. Six points. Six points was given up. <laughs> and the nice celebration, by the way. Pat, you heard about my theory. It's just null and void. I love it because he's mad about my theory. I'm That's not mad at true. all. My yeah. theory is this, Pat. He's going to give up the first play every time. Historically. I don't so give if up he six. runs a <laughs> If, if he runs a four yard hitch, he's gonna have a great game. For the rest of the game, he's not gonna give up nothing. Or he gave up a four yard. And I don't give up six. But it let don't. that first play be a 40, 50 yard bump. God, boss, I'm not but don't ride. you understand the coach is hard to put you in because I don't know when that first one's gonna happen. That's fine if I win the other 29. That's crazy. Uh, no, I so, don't think so. So what's the plan for the next for next week? Because we got Wolfpack Song. on. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> what's up, young man? Hello. Well, so what, what, what happened last week? I mean, we, we, we were on a roll. Week one, what happened week two? Week two, I, I think we kind of came out flat as a team, right? The Ducks came out, they played an aggressive physical game. They got after us. Took us a little bit to get going, and we hung in there as long as we could, but they also made, they, they, they stayed the course and pulled out the win. So looking forward to the schedule. Next up, uh, Wolfpack, because the Syracuse smash uh, didn't want any parts. I guess they figured that you guys would be angry after the loss. Any, any commentary on that? Um, I mean, like, you know, we, we try to keep the vibes up. Um, a loss is always a learning point, right? We got to get back in the lab, get back focused mentally. Um, and try to take things that we did wrong in that game and improve out. on them the next game. But so when you turn we're not feeling down. Um, if anything, we're more hungry to get back out there and get back in the week. Awesome. awesome. Hey, we're with Christian ah. Ramsey. Oh, yes, indeed. So, Ramsey, what happened last week, man? You know, we, we, we don't want to sit there and just uh, be all in the footage when things go right. We, we want to take accountability when things go wrong. So, tell us what went wrong last week. Uh, well, can't really say what we're wrong in terms of the game, but we're wrong on my end. Is I had work getting to get to the game. Uh, they had me. They got me on Saturday. Mm. Mm. That's all I can say. Gotcha. So, where are, we, where are we going from here? Um, same old schedule. Back to it. Nothing changes. Um, hopefully, work doesn't go past the time that it ends. So, I should get the next game. No issue. Good communication at all. Yeah, I'll communicate better. Yes. Oh, nice. All right, good stuff. All right, dude. Thank you. This broadcast is being brought to you by Pioneer Sports Incorporated, providing quality programs to underserved communities, providing team owners with support and tools to run quality programs. Visit them at PioneerSportsInc.com or call 609-658-7532. The Patriots ended up with a loss in Week 2 as they traveled to Queens, New York to take on the New York Ducks of the Triborough Football League. Ducks jumped out early with a early touchdown pass. The Patriots tried to claw back, ended up being played with a few turnovers, and after a big performance again by Davin Collins, number 5, 
and Marquise Journey again, number one, both leading the way with a touchdown pass to cut the lead. And then later on, Davin Collins with a kick return for a touchdown. The Patriots were unable to make the conversion to send this one into extra time. Great job by the Patriot defense, only surrendering two touchdowns to a very potent Ducks squad. The Patriots end up heading back to the drawing board as they even up their record at 1-1. One one. With a week three opponent in Syracuse refusing to play forfeiting a game this week, the Patriots move to 2-1 and one and head on into their week four matchup with the Wolfpack. Make sure you come on down to this week's game home opener against the Empire State Wolfpack at SUNY Maritime Saturday night 7 p.m. and get your Black's Barbecue Box tickets $25 to get premium seating plus all you can eat Black's Barbecue this Saturday at SUNY Maritime. <laughs> 